Johnson, James Calm, the guy on the bike. Coming to you from West 22nd Street. Welcoming you all to another half ass production. I'm gonna take a look here at Max Protect and a David Reed exhibition. Oh, already had what? I said he's already had going and take a look. This is the David Reed exhibition. I would like to uh, give a shout out to uh, one of our viewers in Boise, Idaho, Lauren Humphreys. Unfortunately, he wanted to come in for this exhibition, but his clients wouldn't give him the cash for the painting. And say hi to Bruce. This piece is 576, oil and alkadon polyester 36 by 144 inches. Now, David has been working with variations on the brush stroke for about the last 25 or 30 years, and he's moved from a very formalistic design to these new pieces which actually are almost kind of Baroque and to me they almost recall in certain ways graffiti and some of the free-flowing brushwork of the early New York school. He works on these pieces for years and they involve a very long process of painting and sanding and repainting and building up very unique surfaces. This piece is 575, 40 by 160. David Reed has been a very important part of the New York painting community. Uh, you've probably heard me referring to the very influential exhibition that happened last spring at the National Academy of Design called High Times, Hard Times. And he was the uh, curatorial advisor for that. He's been very involved in the downtown painting scene for a long time. And he's actually almost a cult figure in the New York painting community. crowd that showed up here. As you can see, a lot of young painters are very interested in his technical mastery. Probably have entire classes of painting students from SBA, Parsons. So this is 570, 2005 to 2007. These paintings are oil and alkyd on polyester. And I believe he might prefer that surface because of its smoothness. And it probably makes it a lot easier for him to do his, his skidding. This is 572. So 2005 to 2007. Well, the, the layering and the overstrokes of the paint are quite exquisite, very unique. This is kind of interesting. I wonder how he does this little thing with the drips. It's 110 by 50 inches. There's 
Mitchell Algis at the Mitchell Algis Gallery. Here's the artist right here. David Green. And we'll be able to get a chat with him later. The show is really packed. Take a little rush through the back room here. This piece pops. This is 561, 26 by 102 inches. It's about eight or ten years ago, David actually started taking film, things like Alfred Hitchcock films and uh, digitally inserting his own paintings in them to sort of place the work into a new conceptual framework. And I guess that's an example of the kinds of uh, strategies or ideas that he's working with as far as how people perceive and think about painting. Is 574. This is eight feet tall by a foot wide. This actually recalls some of his earlier work. You would have a grouping of strokes almost on lines on one half of the canvas and very gestural brush strokes on the other. This is 569, 26 by 52 inches. 72. Now that definitely recalls spray can moves with graffiti kid but David still keeps his slashes and brush stroke in there almost like punctuation in the composition now we're looking at the uh, David Reed project room got a couple of uh, different pieces I believe this one is from 1974 76 by 11 inches. This is one of the new pieces. It's 140 by 4 inches. Oh, there's Dave Humphreys. Would you like to comment for the com report? It's going to be on YouTube. Hi. Dave Humphreys, you're a uh, New York painter, and uh, you've probably been watching David's work for a long time. What, what do you think of David's work? What do you think makes it so interesting for the uh, the painters? The sweetness. Sweetness. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, David. can get some detail here you can sort of see the it's like a photo transfer the marks from the sanding you think that's photo transfer well I don't know because then this isn't you know that so clearly is I don't think he would use photo transfer I think that would be against his painter's nature yeah I suspect you're right this is James Calm reporting on the David Reed exhibition at Max Protect. Thanks, Kate.